Hello, I'm Luke O'Reilly and welcome here to the BN Sports Studios here in Qatar where I work as a TV reporter producer. As a Vaughan old boy, I'm very, very proud to introduce you to a short film about the school's rich sporting traditions. Scoring a goal in the cup final remains a schoolboy dream. That dream became a reality for Vaughan graduate Eddie Newton, who sealed a 2-0 FA Cup win for Chelsea over Middlesbrough in 1997. Eddie Newton first joined the club as a 13-year-old. He came up through the ranks in the academy, going on to make 214 appearances for the first team. And he put his success down to a work ethic instilled in W14. And another product of the school's football team became a hero, just down the road at Queen's Park Rangers. Kevin Gallen scored 90 goals in two spells at the club. Once again, his philosophy was honed years before in Addison Road. Just keep practicing and working hard. And that's the advice, um, best advice, any, especially when you're small. More than half a century earlier, Bernard Joy became the last amateur to play for England before excelling in the field of sports journalism. I'm not certain. Yes, it's given. It's given. England are in the lead. And another Vaughan old boy, Morris Edelston described the greatest moment in the nation's football history for BBC Radio. That the goal crossed the line, so Hurst has got his second goal for England. A tiny old boy won the biggest prize. Gary Herbert took Olympic gold and the hearts of a nation in 1992. And there's really going to have to be some fireworks if they're going to get back on terms now. There they are, they're going to go for a change of gear. This is probably where Gary did his, did his big thing. I can't remember many of the words he actually said, but I do remember this unshakable belief in his voice. When you are on a medal podium, there's nothing better. Being at the Olympic Games, representing your country, winning, flag going up, national anthem, it doesn't get any better than that. From the Searle brothers today, it was sheer guts and courage, and it all got to little Gary Herbert as well a bit at the end there, didn't it? Six years earlier, Martin Cross, another product of the school rowing team, won goal in the Coxed Four, and displays yet more of the Vaughan work ethic for me, going into the sport as a youngster, I had no thought of winning or gold medals. Getting a medal was the highest possible achievement. Over the past hundred years, sport has played a huge part in life at Cardinal Vaughan. From the pursuited football and cricket teams of yesteryear to the modern day. And the winners keep on coming. The present school team has lifted the QPR Cup for two years in succession. healthy mind, healthy body. It's a philosophy that always applies to the Vaughan. Academic excellence goes hand in hand with sporting prowess. And the school's success looks set to last far into the future.